What is good friends, today we're using a team that was used in World Cup by Tricking, I think it was made by Will of Fire. And yeah, I tried to record a session where I just spectate the ulti ladder, I've done that before, you guys know how it goes. Problem was, no one um, with a lot of points is laddering, like the games were super boring. So I only recorded one game so far and then I, um, I guess I might continue that video the next day. So we have banned Kartana and I'm just gonna trust my Kartana that it can Oko a Heatran with Sacred Sword. If he's Scarf Trainer, I look like a complete noob. Um, I'm thinking he might be Scarf Greninja. But yeah, so let's talk about the team. Mega Slowbro um, can pretty much... Oh, that did a lot. Mega Slowbro is able to like take on physical attackers really well. Toxic is for... Um, Stuff like Ash Greninja that can otherwise wall this set. It can also hit. I'm gonna go Torn to scout the Lari set. Because if it's Mega Lari, I obviously don't wanna go Heatran. I don't know why Ferrothon was ever the play there, but um, we can just knock off here. Yeah, what does Toxic for? It hits Zapdos, hits Gastron. Like opposing bulky waters, I guess. Uh, can hit Mega Lari on the Switch. Because obviously it would otherwise wall this set. He knocks off the helmet and yeah I can just hurricane because he has no resist and any dodge is classic so hurricane once more and then default next turn because I feel like he was gonna spike again exactly and he leeches now you can just go hard into Kartana here and click um, well yeah we can just click sacred sword because the Ladi is already weakened and Nothing besides Lottie wants to come in. I guess Scizor could come in if it's Fizzdev, Mega Scizor. Like, I know it's not Mega yet, but if it's Fizzdev, it can take it, even if it's not Mega, I think. So, he's either Scarf Tren, or, or I don't know what's going on. Like, he brings this in as if he's Scarf, but, like, he's not Scarf, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I should have gotten more points before I started the recording, because that guy just um, donated. Okay, next game, uh, Kyurem, if Terrain is up, can probably break through Slowbro, but other than that, I'm fine. Mm, Cortana looking really good again in this game. Um, the Glisco is going to be a bit annoying if it has Toxic especially. But here we have a Helmet Torn, which is obviously helpful versus Cortana. We give Karta opposing Katana the terrain, so it's a huge threat to this team. We have um, Scarf Excadrill with HP Fire as well for Katana. But, like, what's it called? I'm not the biggest fan of that. I've been missing spin on that set a little bit. We only have um, Defog Torn as our hazard removal. And yeah, in general, this team is like kind of fun, but it definitely has its flaws. But you guys voted on Twitter and you wanted me to use this team, so I'm using it. And I will put like four or five teams in the, um, again on... I think I can only put four in a Twitter poll. So yeah, you guys can vote again on four more teams. Um, yeah, if you follow me on Twitter, you can um, see the voting there. I'm going to do that later. I haven't decided on the teams yet, actually, but I'll just put some some teams that are decent for ulti laddering. Yeah, Slowbro can come out here. We will see if he's life up or Z move. Kiram goes for fusion bolt. There's a lot that might be. Oh yeah, it's life up. I was gonna say that might be bandit, but it's just life up. So I might just have to mega evolve here. Um, another player could make his pivot into Kartana on a fusion bolt, but if he ice beams, I'm screwed. So I think just Mega and Slack off is my play. That ensures I lift the hit. He goes hard into Gliscor. Um, really risky on his part. I'm gonna go hard into Kartana here. So I guess he could go for Rocks here, which would be a bit annoying. But the reason I'm gonna go Kartana is because I'm gonna scout for Toxic. And I have um, Grassy Terrain up. Yeah, yeah, I just just go for that. Kind of obvious, but still had to scout for it. Scissor has to come out here. So we're gonna go torn to defog. No, the cancel button didn't work. Okay, <laughs> so that worked out for me that the cancel button didn't work because if I switched, he would have gotten momentum. 
Crits will be due to him, but it's not too bad. We got Grass Drain getting some gonna get some recovery back. But yeah, this account isn't too high as you can tell, these guys are making odd plays. The seven is a huge threat, I got no ghost resist, so like I mean I have a spadef trap spadef trap which can switch in once. But it's like really not that reliable. So if he spadef drops me or if he specs, I might just get destroyed. And um so do I click off power? Nah. I don't click off power. I think I click my rocks. Um, well, he's either gonna go Gliscor or Gliscor is at 10%. Yeah, I click Lava Plume then. Do I click rocks? Rocks, Lava Plume, rocks, Lava Yeah, I think he might go Gliscor or he might. Um, he goes Coco, which is odd from Ground Week to Ground Week. I'm uh, gonna go. I'm gonna go Excadrill here. The U-turn is really obvious, but Excadrill, um, yeah, like Rocks guarantee his Gliscor is dead, and like he doesn't have much for a drill. Well, he just screens Coco, but yeah, we can just scarf off quick here, get a kill. Um, he can sack the Gliscor to Rocks if he wants to. That's fine with me. Uh, I guess he can also. I don't. Think, I don't know if he can go hard into Scissor with um, the chip that the Scissor has taken already. So there's a threat. But yeah, this is more of a fun life. I'm gonna try to record another life right after. Then we have a little bit more points and might be a bit more competitive. Uh, yeah, next life is gonna be with a team I decide if I if I record two in a row. But the, the other life in a few days, you guys can vote on that. And yeah, I'm gonna hopefully do um ulti cycle cycle four last hour video again. For cycle three I didn't do it because of People are ion nexting their games and it wasn't fun at all. Way too many people hit their rooms. Um, I don't think Kyurem lives at Earthquake, so. Well, it might actually have Kyurem is bulky. If he's, especially if he has some bulk investment, he might be able to live it. But I don't think he can Oko me and he doesn't freeze me. He's a cool. Mm, and yeah, in the terrain, Slowbro would have gotten destroyed by a potential Fusion Bolt. Um. I guess I could have pivoted from Slowbro into Kartana there, but it's fine. Gonna um, pause it and change up the music. I'm feeling the forfeit coming. Yup. So let me pause real quick. Okay, here we go. Where's some weird offense? Call it Bunny offense. What a Megiana. Man said KK. Uh, who says that? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> but yeah, Tornadus. Mm, or Slowbro. Slowbro like walls the entire team. <laughs> Hello? How does he beat Slowbro with this? And just freely scald here. Um, I don't want to click toxic in case he goes Umbreon and synchronizes the toxic on me. I also don't want to toxic in case he goes into Megiana. Um, that tells us he's most likely banded that damage. I would assume he's banded. We get a burn. So his Diggers B is pretty much dead now. We can just. Uh, yeah, we can just slack off here. And we can switch out here into Kartana. Or. Um, yeah, I go Kartana here because it covers a Toxic. If he foul plays, I'm screwed, kind of. He heal builds the burn off, but yeah, that's fine. I can just Sacred Sword here. Well, I should be running Kalks, but I'm not that high, and I'm just gonna play this for fun and click, click, click a little bit. Um, Yeah, because I should have Kalked how much foul play does to me, but we can, I can see it. I can eat it up, so it was fine. And well, he can go into Azu here or into Victini, knowing that I'm locked into Sacred Sword. That's not too bad for me. Um, Victini is um, physical, Slowbro walls it. If it's special, it's a threat. I'll still go Slowbro here to scout because I don't think he can Oko me. Maybe if he specs, he can Oko me. I don't know. But yeah, searing shots, he's most likely Z move. Hmm. So I think Heedrin is the play here because it covers the Umbreon. I didn't want to go for Toxic. And now I love a plume. Hopefully that can kill him. Because if he can wish this back up, this would be really annoying. As he lives on 3% and he's able to wish this back up. But we get our rocks up, so it's okay. And now we get to switch into um, Tapu Bulu, get up the grassy terrain. Well, it's kind of annoying because it also heals his mons, but it's fine. I figured he would just foul play there. Um, so now, he doesn't have Toxic on this. I think I can SD once. 
goes Megina. I should have just probably attacked. Um, I don't think I can kill this. So we're gonna go Heatran here to scout for, for like yeah exactly Iron Head, Flash Can, whatever something like along those lines. No, he's either gonna Volt Switch if he's a yeah, he might Volt. Switch. Yeah, I just love up him. I was gonna say um, I could scout for the All Out Pummeling, but since he has Iron Head and looking at his team, he's most likely AV. Just a slow Volt Switch pivot into Breakers. Um, goes Umbreon. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So what we can do is just go into Tornadoes and knock off the leftovers. He doesn't even have Toxic, so we don't have to fear that. Um, yeah, I mean, if he goes uh, Azo and he Z move, that's a bit annoying. But I think he Z move Victini, right? So yeah, this was the correct play to make. He's gonna have to take some Rocky Helmet, and we can U-turn out, and we took like no damage. And we can go into our yeah Tabulu, and I think this time I'll just. I mean, he has a wish in the air, so there's no point attacking here. Because if I superpower into Megina, the wish just brings it back to full anyway. Oh, he goes Victini, okay. That's a little bit more annoying, but I think Heatran is the play on this, because he's uh, special. And even if he goes for the Z move, uh, Focus Blast cannot kill me because um, I'm gonna just Toxic here. Focus Blast cannot Oko me because I'm Spideftran. Um, yeah, something that is annoying for this team is Toxic Packs. What's it called? What's it called? So I'm gonna go Katana here, anticipating a heal bell. Yep, and now, well, actually, this wasn't the play because I'm in range to dive to foul play, so that was a misplay on my end. But it, it's actually completely fine because we can just switch out, and I'll just click Horn Leech this time. I've been clicking SD, but I don't really have a reason to click SD because the mons that he goes to they force me out after, so I should just uh, Horn Leech to get chip. And yeah, Chip on Megina is cool. Well, if I SD there, I might have been able to kill him with Z move after. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. So he might go for Volt Switch here. I think Excadrill is the play. Well, if he has Focus Blast, this could be annoying. Yeah, this could be annoying. But I just want to block a potential Volt Switch. Uh, I can eat up a HP Fire, obviously, with quite ease. So I think this is the play, because earlier I went in the Heatran. So I thought he might Volt Switch this time. Um, grassy Terrain is obviously bad in this scenario because it weakens my own Earthquake. And hopefully no freeze here. Cool, cool, cool. But usually the opponent also has like Terrain and changes up the Terrain. And like Skyf Excadrill you don't have to like click Earthquake. Like you don't send this one out that much. It's for revenge killing and um, yeah. I haven't used this team too much to like explain it well in detail. <laughs> I just love Band Katana and Grassy Terrain. It's like it's fun on ladder. Um, what's it called? Yeah, like you can get like on low ladder, especially you can get these fast kills with Katana. It's like really fun. But this team has issues. I think. Can you even beat Stall with this team? Stall is a huge problem. Toxapex is annoying because like Toxapex, look at the team. Like you can knock it off, but nothing wants to switch into Scald. Like, this can get burned, this can get burned on Scald switching. Swivel gets toxic. You can't toxic it back because it's a poison type. Um, stuff like that is just annoying. Is he. Nah, he has no way he's saps. So he sacks off the Diggish B. Um, yeah, like, nothing wants to. Like, this can also get burned by Scald. I guess you can SD into Grassium to kill packs, but like I said, if you get burned, you're screwed. Mm. I just keep going Heatran and if he sets up I can just toxic him that yeah, play doesn't matter at all um, I s well I don't know if what set the Azimuril is because this is most likely Z so this might be um, Citrus Berry or Bandit but I don't know if he's Bandit because knockoff bounced off I did 11 that might actually be Bandit but it's Belly Drum yeah it's not Bandit so now you just Horn Leech, I'm pretty sure we outspeed unless he's Jolly. If he's Jolly, we're in, a, we're in trouble. But he's not, so Bob, he doesn't even Aqua Jet. Even if he Aqua Jet, we would have gotten health back. He forfeits. We pause it and change up the music. Okay, here we go. And there's the Pex that we haven't faced yet. Pex is gonna be a pain. Um, 
Heatran is really good in this. Uh, if I had Magma Storm to Trap Packs, that would be better maybe in this scenario. But overall, I like Lava Plume better on Spadef Tren. Uh, I think Torn is pretty solid as a lead here. And you can just click Knock Off turn 1. Another potential play is U turn, but I think Knock Off is completely fine. Well, if he's Z move on Tren, then U turn would have been the better play, but knocking off packs early on is cool. Now I'm expecting a Scald or Toxic, probably a Scald. And yeah, this is what I talked about earlier. It's hard to switch into Scald with this team. I might just have to let Hedron take it. And then um, as he Toxic spikes. Okay, that's also a bit annoying. Um, I think I want a Lava Plume here. Because if I can get the burn on the Gliscor on the switch in, that would be amazing. That's another reason why I like Lava Plume on Heatran. But of course not. Uh, that would have been too cool, too amazing to be true. Um, so we could Torn. Yeah, he obviously predicted a Magma Storm and didn't want to get trapped. That's why he switched out. And yeah, he's most likely... A I think he's a toxic um, Gliscor, and this is going to be super painful to deal with. Uh, he's FD, what? Okay, so hopefully we can hit this Hurricane. If he attacks me, he dies to Rocky Helmet, so goodbye Gliscor. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing. Classic ladder donating points. Oh, I gotta love the ladder now. Um, we U-turn out here into... Well, I don't have a switching because Toxic Spikes are up. <clears throat> so uh, maybe I should have just hmm. I think I just have to let my Slowbro get toxic um, by poisoned by one layer see rocks up now he's leftovers cool at least he's not z-move so I could click skull or toxic here um, kinda wanna double out into tornadoes predicting the superior to come out and get some regenerator I think I'm gonna do that if he stays in, that's bad, but he goes in the Mew, so this gives me the opportunity to defog. Uh, if he's Ice Beam Mew, that's obviously really bad for me, because I would lose my Torn. But he's Volt Switch, and that doesn't kill. Cool. So, now... Well, Slower being on one layer poisoned is cool, because at least I can't get hard poisoned. I think I go Tren and get my rocks up. Like, the Toxic Spikes are a little bit annoying. But they only affect, um, I mean, Slowbro is on one layer, and the other one that one that would get affected is Bulu by one layer. So it's not too, too bad, right? Scald coming. Oh, he just gets up two layers for the Bulu. Um, so I could fish here, but I would, I'd probably just keep my Heatran healthy if he doesn't want to Scald me. That seems to be the play to make, keep Heatran healthy, go into Slowbro. Yeah, I like how I played this, only that Slowbro is um, poisoned by one layer, so it can't get badly poisoned. If this Pex has a um, trapping move, that would be awful for me, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have space for that. He's running Baneful Bunker, that set is really bad. Um, protect. What did, he, what did he switch to? He would switch to Mew here. I'm gonna Toxic in case he switches into Mew. Uh, he can obviously stay in and go for Recover, but just in case he pulls a switch into Mew or Superior Toxic is really cool here. And then go on a Heatran. Get my Regenerator back. That's the reason I stayed in regular form, obviously. Um, I would love if Mega Slowbro had kept Regenerator. It would be so good. I would use it so much. I would spam this Mon if it kept Regenerator in the Mega form. And now we can just click Earth Power. Um, predicting the Toxapex or Heatran to come out. Well, if Toxapex come out, I would probably click Lava Plume to try and burn it, but Earth Power covers the Heatran as well. So he goes low punny, which is a odd slash bad play. I don't know why he did that. And Slowbro should be able to deal with this. As that does quite a lot. Um, no crit, hopefully. Obviously, I could Mega to get the... Um, to guarantee that I can't get crit. But like, oh, I'm not really healing much. Like, I can mega to guarantee that I don't get crit with shell armor, but I won't keep my. I want to keep my regenerator because it's amazing to pivot around. Uh, I was thinking about toxicing there, but I didn't do it because um, it's too important to keep this healthy for low punny. Well, I can also sack something late to low punny. Uh, now I go heatran. I would also another reason why I like lava plume is um, sub glare superior as a thing on ladder. Hopefully he's not glare. And if you have lava plume, if you have magma storm instead of lava plume, then it's like a really, a real big pain to deal with a subserp. So we're gonna go torn here. He didn't boost his special attack yet. 
and yeah cool that works out perfectly um, I break them to sub or switch and now he can U-turn out well I could knock off the lefties but I don't want to risk him um, killing my Torn because Torn is a great pivot goes for rocks so um, like Mew or Serp probably the play for him I'll just Scald because Scald is like a catch-all play I should have Toxic but I thought he might go Mew and he's already poisoned I think Toxic was the play because packs of Mew coming out would not been would not have been bad for me. So I probably should have played that a little bit different. So I can barely live that now. I kinda have to hit a hurricane here. No, I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn. Because I think he's gonna switch. Actually, if I think he's gonna switch I should have knocked off, but thankfully I didn't knock off. Because it would have not worked out at all. And I'm just gonna lava plume because I'm not playing around with the superior. I don't want to elf power into him subbing. So if he wants to go Pax here, let him do that. If he wants to go Trend here, let him do that. Not playing around with the Serp. Mm, goes Pax, hopefully we can get a burn as he um, does just forfeit. Cool. I don't know why he forfeited. Did I get the burn? I don't even know. Okay, I don't want to play this. This looks dangerous. Um, Halucha is always a pain. But we got Mega Slower for Halucha, so we're fine in that regard. But if that's Zard Y, um, we're going to have to dodge some Focus Blast because we have no other counterplay to Zard Y. Looking at leads, um, I think Lando or Coco is his lead or Zard. Lando, Coco, Zard, Lando, Coco, Zard. Um, Tornadus, I think it does well versus two out of three of those. Yeah, I mean the only thing bad here would be if he's Rockium. But this is his Rocker unless it's Rock's Mew. Hmm. Yeah, well this, this could be... Yeah, I think this is his Rocker and Mew is the Defogger, but it could also be the other way around. So the reason I have to U-turn here though is to just gauge his sad, his set, like just in case he's Rockium I could not afford to stay in there, yeah, like I get information there pretty much, so that helped me out. Problem is I can't click Toxic because he has a Mew, so I'm gonna have to click Scald here, because uh, hard into Pex, gonna have to go Heatran and yeah this is a, this is rough. Of course I'm facing Pex now when I'm using this team. Toxic spikes. Um, I think getting a Brox for now is the play. I still kind of have to defog later in the game. But yeah, rocks are worth it because if it's Zard Y, um, that's a huge threat to me. And my Hedron, I think, is in range of Focus Blast with that chip damage. Maybe it's a roll. Mm. So I think the play here is going torn. If he burns me, that would be kind of good because then he cannot Toxic me. It was Lando instead. I'm gonna use this as an opportun opportunity to get out of a knockoff, uh, get rid of Lando's leftovers and longevity and I kinda wanna defog but I also don't wanna defog at the same time. Yeah I think I have to defog for Slowbro unless I wanna let it get poisoned on one layer but Slowbro is pretty important in this game because what's it called? Slowbro is quite important in this game to <coughs> deal with the Halucha and if it's Zardex it's also important for that so a play I could make is go Kartana here because he's most likely gonna get rocks up and then I can just click leave but no I didn't mean I want I can't cancel it anymore basically the problem here is oh he didn't rocks the problem here is he has a Zard and I have no rocks on his side so Zard kind of walls my Kartana but yeah gonna leave but in case he stays in if he goes Zard, he can do that, but if he stays in, he's gonna have to get destroyed, and he crits me. Um, I think that might have mattered, and losing Bandit Katana sucks. Uh, that's really annoying. <clears throat> so if I go Torn, I rely on hitting Hurricane, I don't want to do that. I think I just want to go Drill and click Iron Head. I could have played that different, I don't know. I, I think I, I feel like I misplayed that. I didn't mean to go cards, but what else would I have gone to? Slowbro again? That doesn't really gain me that much either. So now... It's really rough out here. I need Slowbro for Halucha, so I can't go hard Slowbro if he's out Y and Solar Beams. He's out Y, so hopefully... Yeah, he just flamethrowers. And I think I might be able to live a Focus Blast from this range. So I'm gonna go for Toxic here, hoping I can live Focus Blast. If he has HP ground, good for him. As he crits me, um, that definitely mattered, I think. Unless he gets a max max roll. <clears throat> so I think I'll just lose to this now. 
So like technically I should like predict the Mew here and pull a double, but I kind of have to bank on him choking and he does choke. Yeah, people on ladder always do that. They can switch out guaranteed win with their Zardwai, but instead they want to throw it out and lose. Um, yeah. What's it called? A play I could have made, I, I should have calked if Focus Blast kills me, and if Focus Blast kills me, um, I could have pivoted, I could have pivoted into Torn, crit would have done a lot still. And then next turn, um, you turn into Tren, I guess, to get leftovers back on Flamethrower, but if he predicts that and goes for Focus Blast, my Tren gets popped. Or he could also Solar Beam to cancel out leftovers recovery. Uh, what is this Mew? If this Mew is Z-Move, I'm also in a bad position. Uh, I assume it's just a will wisp Defog variant though, because he has a Zard. Yeah, okay, that's completely fine. Because now I can click Toxic, right? If he goes Pex, yes, he goes Pex and that's really annoying. But if he goes to anything else or stays in Toxic is the play. Uh, yeah, if he goes Pex, I might just have to... And now, now my Slowbro is basically on a... What's it called? My Slowbro is... I could have Psychic there as well. My Slowbro is burned, so it can't get affected by Toxic Spike. So that's amazing. The burn nerve and everything that's working out for me here. So gonna hurricane here once. I think U-turn is actually the better play just to get the regen, uh, but the cancel button didn't work there. So if he hits himself, that would be lovely, cool, cool, cool. Now I think he might have to go Coco. And just U-turn here into my, okay, he stays in. Yeah, I can just go slow, bro. Gets up a second layer and now I just click, um, I kinda wanna click Toxic because he shouldn't stay in and lose this to Psychic. I speed creep, what's it called? I have not, I don't have speed creep on this for packs, but this guy, yeah. So he tries to sack his Toxic packs for no reason and gets rewarded. And now I'm in a bad spot because now, exactly, now he breaks out. I, I knew he would break out the next turn. I just knew. Okay, that does absolutely nothing. Because I'm not in Mega yet, so never mind then. <laughs> I wouldn't even have killed him. Slowbro is weak, what the fuck? Well, if it's Mega, it has the same base special attack as the regular Ladi, but before it's like weak. So we can. <clears throat> the reason I go Torn here is. I want to scout out what he has and I kind of want to get regen. And he might just. Yeah, he has Ice Beam, okay. I didn't think he would go for that, that didn't make much sense at all. But I know Torn can live Ice Beam. I thought he would like have. I don't know, I just wanted to scout. I don't know exactly what I was fearing. I could have just toxic. But yeah. I mean he should be going packed, right? Yeah, this game would have been like rough or like Zadwa is a hard matchup, especially if they played better, he just threw it out. Um, maybe I could have played different, but I feel like um I definitely should that's the one thing I already said, I should have cocked focus blast. <laughs> Maybe try to play around a bit more and get lefties on my trend by pivoting, but like, I don't know. This team doesn't have a, this team doesn't have a hard stop to Zard Y. Like, if you don't have a Pex or Mega Lari, how are you gonna switch into Zard Y? You can't really, huh? <laughs> he goes into his Pex. I'm just gonna defog these. I know he's gonna set them back up, but that's fine. Just gonna get this a little bit more healthy. Yeah, I can just, I can just literally, like, this might be boring to watch, but I can literally pivot around, get my regenerator, get my tornadoes back to full. And he thankfully doesn't have toxic on this, I think. He's haze most likely. Uh, Lopani Kicks uses toxic on his packs instead of haze. Like, I know haze is, like, important, but toxic spikes plus toxic can be really annoying to face because you can toxic torn and force it out and then keep toxic spikes up easier you can also toxic zap those like the defoggers in general i mean that yeah that was still used on ladder right it is mm -hmm. i guess i'm gonna try to get a burn once as he gets up a t spike nice we get the burn cool so we're making progress slowly but surely so being um, burned ensures that it can deal with halucha with ease and um Bulu plus Excadrill should be able to deal with the Tapu Koko. I always defog when he sets up two layers. I don't defog when he sets up one layer. That way I can potentially have more PP. T 
TVPP then he has toxic spikes even though he can um, only get up one he doesn't even need to but it only hits the Bulu and one is enough for the Bulu in my opinion but yeah I can just click off quick here I assume the Mew is gonna come out but well he could also go Halucha but if Halucha comes out I go Slowbro and I might have to run a Kalk if uh, Halucha comes out Oh, I forgot that he's poisoned, so this is actually a 2 hit KO. Well, it's a roll, I'm not risking I'm not risking this. I'm just gonna go slow. Ah, I meant to go turn and click U turn, but this works. So we can just click Skull here, he's gonna soft, but. Ah, do we go torn knock? This is fine as well, he's kinda taking his time. I think this is the last game of the life. I don't wanna make this too long. Like, my voice is kinda dead because I tried to record um, spectating OLT ladder but the games were just not that great so I stopped doing it as he crits me with is that specs Coco it might be specs but I, he doesn't kill me with the next one unless I did my math wrong so can just <clears throat> yeah I think I think since is always the play just to ensure that this is healthy and now we horn leech Only just just safe in case he stays in. SD would be better in case he switches, but if he stays in, I don't want to risk anything. So I think we just hold each again here. We're out of range from crit, I'm pretty sure. If he switches, we get grassy terrain and hold each recovery. And now, if the terrain was still there, I could Z move to kill us, but I think it doesn't kill without the terrain. So we'll just um, go back to pivoting around. <laughs> nice can nice error message here and valid choice. So we can Psychic once, just throwing out attacks is cool, um, not letting Coco in for free. If Coco dies he's forced to go Lucha eventually, right? And just click Psychic here, um, I mean he can stay in but like... I don't wanna waste too many Psychics because of the Lucha I have to keep some obviously. I mean one, I just, one is all I need, because if I'm Mega... Halucha dies and one to Psychic, which he's now forced to go into. And I think I will just Mega Evolve, I don't need my region anymore. Like, I could run a Kalk, but like, <laughs> I won a Mega Slowbro in one of the games that I play in this live, and I don't think I Mega it yet. So, <laughs> he didn't even SD and goodbye. I didn't have to Mega, I could have beaten him without it, but this just ensures that we take no damage. I see four foot, cool. Um, I guess I can go for one more, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the last one was. Oh, he just forfeits. Cool. <laughs> what? What? What is up with these people today? So let's get one more then. Okay, this looks like I don't want to play it, and it can take a long while, like fat minute. Tornadoes looks really cool in this. I'm just gonna lead off with it, and yeah, he leads with Coco, which is like the one thing I didn't want him to lead with. As long as he's not like random sky strike Coco, my Bulu is fine here. He U-turns because I covered everything, drill and Bulu. And now, um, Tangros is annoying if it's Fist Death, especially if it's AV, I can knock it off with Kartana and probably break it through it. Um, but yeah, now I have to go slow, bro, because I have to scout for Supersonic Sky Strike. That's a mistake I see a lot of people make. They um, sack their Bulu to Lander without scouting for Sky Strike. He makes a double there, um, which doesn't really accomplish much, much, because I can just go Torn. Mm -mm -mm. And yeah, Torn is. Torn is just a mon, it's so good, even if it's not offensive Z-move, even if it's bulky rocky helmet. Now, even though I lost my helmet. Um, I think U-turn for the momentum is what I want. Nah, I'm gonna knock off. Because yes, if he goes Coco and if he Z-move, I lose all the momentum here. But if he's um, if he has an item, I get information about his Coco. Okay, so I know that he's Z-move Coco. And you can say the U-turn was the better play, but I just wanted to know if his Coco is the Z-move user. Or if he's a potential Z move Mew. Now that now I know that the Coco is the Z move user and the Mew is probably just a bulky variant. I'm still gonna um, keep making this play. Is he is he Rocks land though? Eventually he's gonna get up Rocks and then it's gonna be a bit annoying. But without Rocks, this is completely fine. So we're gonna go Excadrill this time. That actually does a lot. Am I minus defense? I think I'm minus defense on this because of HP fire. Oh uh, yeah, if you guys wanna try the team is gonna be in the description. But he has me in the vault turn cycle and I got it. And now he has rocks as well. So I can toxic here. 
Um, the only problem is if he goes into Mew. That would put me in a bad spot. But I assume he's either going to go Tangros. Oh, yeah, that's another Mon. I didn't talk about. Ta Toxic is amazing for Tangros. But if he goes Tangros or Coco here, um, Toxic is r great. He might have heal on Chansey or he might go hard Chansey. And that would be really bad for me. But yeah. Now, um, I could have stayed in there predicting a U turn, but it's really, really risky. Yeah, I kind of wanted to stay in. But if I stay in and lose my slow one, I'm in a bad spot. So I got Coco on a timer now, but I gotta be careful. I gotta get these rocks off the field. This Volton is too um, dangerous with rocks up on my side. I gotta like not be on the passive the entire game. See, Nox there he gives up the pressure. Um, is he choiced? Did he switch up moves yet? Um, his Prometro. Let me pause it real quick. I'm he changed that move, so that means he's not choiced. So that means I'm forced to slag off here to keep this healthy. He crits me, which is annoying. Um, actually, that doesn't matter too much because I got my region and I slagged off. Yeah, that doesn't matter at all because slag off plus region keeps me healthy. Um, yeah, I mean, he's probably... He's probably just going to keep U-turning, but in case... Eventually, he can go for the electric move. So I feel like I have to keep making... He, like, he, doesn't, he doesn't lose anything from spamming U-turn. Even if I stay in, if I stay in, he can go Chansey. Yeah, this is like rough. He has me in the Voltorb Vortex. I'm gonna go Tapu Bulu next time on the Coco. But with Rocks up and u turn it's like really annoying. Especially because my Bulu is Z-move and not Leftovers. It would be better if my... Um the player I can make here is go Tornadoes. Um, that's actually a player I should have made earlier as well. To... Oh no, he knocked off my Rocky Helmet, wow. I was gonna say, to stopping from spamming U-turn, I can go into Torn and make him take Rocky Helmet. But he knocked that off earlier. I completely forgot. I really wanna go slow, bro, just predicting him to U-turn. But yeah, he does roost. So finally, I got a turn where I get some time to breathe. Um, I'm gonna Hollage. If he's the Rocky Helmet Tangros, this is bad. But then I get, I get to find out if he's Rocky Helmet right now. As he is... Not Rocky Helmet, okay. So he's probably... Is he AV? He shouldn't be AV though because he has a chancy. Can go torn here. He can double and put me in a really bad spot in the vault turn vortex, but he gives up the pressure there and lets me defog. He should have doubled there. But yeah, the toxic I got on the coco earlier um, let me breathe a little bit and made it so that I could um, make him. I, I made him roost eventually because he was getting chipped. Yeah, I prefer. I usually prefer. Um, He's, he cannot touch my Bulu, so I have no idea why, but I also want to go Torn to just, yeah. Basically, I don't know why he kept bringing in Lando on Bulu, because he doesn't even have a move to, like, touch it. Uh, I could have knocked it, but the Coco was obvious. So now we got big boy Cartana in grassy terrain. The worst thing here would be if he's counter Chansey and he lives on, like, 2% and counters me. But I just want to see how much this does to the Tangrowth, as it doesn't to it KO. Okay, so I need rocks up to 2 it KO, or well, <clears throat> or like some sort of chip. Smart Strike would have destroyed him there. Smart Strike would have been a potential play, but I just wanted to see how much Leaf Blade does. And yeah, now we got him in this cycle. He gave up the pressure, he's misplaying this. What's my record on this account? 20-0 or something? No, not quite yet. A little bit less wins, okay. Um. So this time, I can. I think I just click knockoff. Yeah, I think I just click knockoff. Get rid of the um, IV, AV. Yeah. I don't know why I said it so weird the first time. I wasn't sure if he was AV. I could have smart strike that. Um, yeah, smart strike was probably the better play. Yeah, he makes a double finally. He was giving up the pressure for a long time. Completely fine now. Like, he has played too passive and allowed me to get the upper hand. So now he realized he has to stop playing passive. But eventually he will have to roost again. I don't mind. Like, I don't need the health on my Excadrill, so this is fine with me. And I know that Tornadoes always defox on this because he has the Z move on the Coco and he already revealed his entire moveset. 
I know Rox has more PP than Defog, and he can get Rox up in the long run if he wants to, but that's fine. For now, I will keep Rox off. And um, what's it called? I will eventually just. If he gets Rox on my side eventually, and I can't keep Rox off on my side, I will just trade Rox and we will play with Rox on both sides. So um, this Mew could have off power because his team is quite weak to Heatran. So I think Slowbro is the play to make. That's exactly why I scouted out his Mew earlier. Um, I scouted out what his Z-Move user is by knocking off into the Coco. So knowing that the Mew isn't Z-Move, no, I know that the Slowbro should be able to deal with the Mew. Um, he can obviously double here, but he doesn't, so now I'm back in business. Um, I just want to keep clicking her U-turn. Because even though he could stay in... Well, this puts me in a rough spot. I can go Budo here, yeah. The only bad spot, the only bad play is if he sludge bombs. But I figured he would knock off, anticipating me to go Heatran or something like that. And Z move actually comes in handy here. And now um, we go back in the torn. Scout for sludge bomb, he giga drains. And now we U turn again. And we get Kartana in and we click Smart Strike. And he cannot defend versus Smart Strike. I think the. Tangrel gets 2 hit KO'd, right? Oh, it doesn't. Wow, okay. Why did I thought of, why did I think it was a tweet kill? Mm -mm -mm. So I need rocks up or some sort of chip. So he gets me there. I really just want to go into my slow bro on the U-turn. Or I want to stay in and U-turn myself on his U-turn to get momentum. Because it's like so obvious. But I just can't. I just don't feel like risking it or yet. Um, eventually I might risk it. I don't know. Man, that's the like, if I still had my helmet around, this would be so cool. Um, stop his U-turn spam. That would be amazing because he's like spamming U-turn with everything with Lando and Coco. Mm -mm -mm. Chancy, so I'm just gonna knock this, and he heal belts the poison. That's a little bit annoying, but well. <clears> hmm. <throat> Tangrus is not at full, so how are you gonna switch into this now? How are you gonna switch into this, my friend? Landris, okay, yeah, Landris can come out, obviously. But this is gonna take a good chunk. Mm. Maybe I should have knocked it off. Did I know yet if it was left or was? I don't remember if I knew that already. <laughs> so he is definitely. Just spamming U turn. And eventually I will stay in on U turn. But what? I bet the turn I'm gonna stay in is gonna electric move. <laughs> I'm so shook, man. Landorus again. I don't understand why he's doing this. I think I wanna go into my. Yeah, I think I wanna go into my Kartana here. Oh, he makes a good double there. Well. <laughs> I could have just gone Landris and he would have been in a bad position. But he doubled into Tang. I think he went into Tang, he just intimidated me, wanted to get leftovers. Like his play made sense. Um, what I'm gonna do is click Hurricane. Okay, U turn would have been better, but I just thought he would stay in with the Tang growth. U turn into Kartana, the terrain ends, which is bad. Because his. His Tangros is back at full. Hmm. Rough. This is like a game where I need patience, but I don't really have the patience. Um, knocking off the leftovers would be cool though to chip this down. Because if Tangros is, um, if I get Tangros low, then I also want I also want the slow for Band Cartana. So knocking off lefties is definitely worth it. So now he's spamming rocks. Um, which completely fine with me. Eventually, I would have just clicked Hurricane, because I cannot miss Hurricane if what's it called? I cannot miss Hurricane if I keep clicking Default because of the evasion. Yeah, like he's playing it correct, just spamming U turn. I completely agree, but I'm just too shook to stay. <laughs> Man, this is annoying. I think I should maybe just um, trade rocks with him, because I, like I said earlier, I can't keep them up for up, off forever. Why I cannot talk, man? Of 
course this game is taking forever. Um, I also I cannot really click Toxic freely with my Slowbro because he can go Mew next time instead of Coco. I really want to stay in here, man. You don't know how badly I want to stay in. It would have worked too, but I just couldn't do it. Like in my opinion. It would have been a fine play for him to click the electric move because my checks are getting lower and lower. And you're gonna synth here because we need this healthy. There he gave up complete all the momentum. Like he went Lando to intimidate me and then to pivot and get regen. But he let me get this back healthy. Like he messed up. So I feel like he messed up because he was chipping me with Yudan, but then he just gave away all the progress he made. Um, we can hurricane hopefully connect, chip down the Landris. For um, a late game band Kartana, um, what? Uh, yeah, I need a little bit of chip on Tang. Hmm. <laughs> Thing is, what do I go to here? Because my Kartana is getting low. <laughs> Tang is at full, so like. A little bit of softball seismic toss. Rocks are toxic. Probably toxic, right? Man, this is rough. I'm gonna go trend for scouting, scouting for toxic, right? And yeah, I think I'm gonna actually get up my own rocks. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Trend gets low. We go to Torn. This would also be another scenario where it would be amazing to still have the Rocky helmet to chip this down. But I think Katana gets me. Um, he has no Evilite, so Smart Strike will kill him. And with rocks up, this might tweet KO the tank growth. And Lando gets tweet KO or O code actually. I, th I forgot Lando was lower, he let it take a hurricane. So you finally make progress. Mew, um. Yeah, like I said, I don't wanna, um. Yeah, it's Defog. <clears throat> I don't wanna Toxic, obviously, just in case he stays in. You get no burn, classic. I just can't let my mons get toxic. This is like really annoying for me. I don't know if he has toxic yet, so that's why I'm not risking anything. If he's not, never gonna click toxic. Oh yeah, it does show it there. Okay. If he's never gonna show toxic, then I can throw my Bulu in more freely. I think I have to go terrain up to help my um, boys stay healthy. I think I'm just gonna click the Bloom Doom here. Um, no, he has a Tangrowth that he's gonna go to here. Like, I really wanna double... No, double card doesn't get me much. I think Tren is the play here, right? Because even if he stays in, I get the terrain going. If he goes Tangrowth, I got the terrain, so Earthquake can't kill me. I knocked off the Assault Vest. I can get my rocks up here. Um, if he goes hard low Pony, which is, like, in my opinion, a bad play. Slowbro was this. And now... I just wanna not let the pressure up and pull the double here. Um, but the terrain ends this turn, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not just gonna scold and play it safe. I knew the Mew would most likely come out, but Burn is also cool. I don't know if the Mew has off power, so. Hmm. Actually, gonna go Bulu first to get up the grass terrain. Then I'm gonna go. Um, Just gonna go back to Torn. Scout out his move set. I don't want. Like I could have gone Heatran there, but I don't want to risk it before I know his entire move set, because he could potentially, um, he could potentially have Earth Power, and bef he could go for that on the switch, predicting me, which would put me in a rough position. So he's gonna U-turn. I think I just Horn Leech. I could also SD, but I think Horn Leech is the play to keep the F healthy, as healthy as possible. And, um, yeah, you guys can tell I haven't been uploading too much. Like, my motivation wasn't that high. Um, I've, been, I've been watching a lot of shows. Like, um, let me know what your guys' favorite shows are in the comments. Like, like I'm, I'm on the lookout to watch new shows. Because I kind of, I watched to most, I watched through most stuff that I wanted to watch. Like, I'm almost done with most I wanted to watch. Okay, um... Chancy. Um, yeah, also another th 
Slower being burned is just amazing because you can't get toxic by chancy. <laughs> so now I can freely click toxic and miss cool Pokemon. <laughs> but basically, optimally, if the opponent doesn't know the team, they go Tangrowth on your toxic and then you chip down Tangrowth and then Bandit Katana can 2 it KO Tangrowth. I think that's uh, how it should. That would be optimal. That's all you want. Uh, but it's not happening because this guy knew I was toxic by going Coco and sh stuff. If I had Helmet, I would go Tony because I know he's you, Tony. I think I can go Heatran here because he's you, Tony, and I'm getting more health back. And I don't really feel like Horn Leeching into the Tangros. I'm wasting all my Horn Leech PP. And yeah, I have this game in control. The guy could have had a shot if he played it more aggressive, but I don't know. He wasn't patient. He gave up. I don't know what to say. He just didn't... Like, he had me in the vault turn early. In the turn turn, not vault turn. Turn turn. Just chipping my team, but like he gave up pressure on some... T he, like, misplayed on some turns. Putting me in a great spot. Oh, this is already toxic. I forgot. I just should have clicked Skull. Or Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> He doesn't have heal ball on his chance if I recall correctly, does he? Seismic toss, soft bolt, toxic. Oh, yeah, he, nah, he does have heal ball. He does have heal ball, yeah. He doesn't have rocks because he has them on land, though. But yeah, I just have to be patient and I win this game guaranteed now. Because he, like, he definitely misplayed it. I'm just gonna click psychic because it does more to the Coco. Does it? I think it does more, yeah. Yeah, it's stronger, obviously. Now, go Heatran once. I don't know why Toxic was his play. Get up the rocks. If we know that the Mew doesn't have off power, we can even stay in with the trend on the Mew. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, doubling now is not in his favor because he takes Toxic and rocks on his Coco. Doubling into Coco doesn't, like, really do much for him. Because he would, he would eventually have to roost. I would get momentum. Um, I'm just gonna grass him here because I wanna grass him on him defogging. Um, because if I go for SD here, he can defog, and then the next turn he can switch out. Okay, I thought it would kill, but as you can see, Spadef Pool is not as strong as I was hoping. It doesn't kill. But what I can do here is go into Katana on the soft boil. Oh, he just will wisps. Okay. My bad, my bad. <laughs> but basically, I was. Um, I thought he would softball like a normal person. Because he saw that he lived the Z move, so he would live a normal Horn Leech. And then I wanted to have a Grassy Terrain Boosted Leaf Play. But now my Katana is burned, so that's a bit sad. Doesn't matter though. Um, I still feel like I'm in control of this game. Uh, I just click Hurricane here. As we hit the chancy, we can now go slow bro. Slow being burned is just amazing as I stated earlier. Cannot get toxic. Helps me to pivot around. Can throw off um Well actually I'm gonna pivot a little bit. But yeah, my bad my bad if the ending was boring for you guys. So he does U-turn there, which is annoying. I don't think he's gonna toxic, I think he's gonna softball. So basically what I wanted to do is get Bulu in, get the terrain up for Heatran. That way Seismic Toss doesn't do much, and I can get my rocks back up. Um, now Toxic the Mew. And he does have Roost, yeah. And we miss a Toxic. Classic. But yeah, if he wants to defog, his Mew will get poisoned and we get rocks back up. I know he has here on Chansey. But yeah, it's a um, slow and painful ending for him. <laughs> Dude, why is this game so long? How long has this been? 20 minutes? I'm gonna go Torn here. Knock off the Mew's leftovers. If he stayed in there, um, it could have potentially been annoying. Like if he stayed in with the low pony, but I figured he wouldn't. I could hurricane here, but I could miss. And if he switches, I want that um, terrain up for my Bulu into trance, so I can not take anything from Estos. I can take cancel out with leftovers and terrain, basically. I um, mean, yeah, I still take a little bit, but not much, and I get my rocks back. And I can um, Toxic. Oh, I'm faster, so he's just gonna... No, he didn't heal. Oh, cool. He's mostly gonna heal build this turn. Hmm. No, he doesn't heal build. Eventually, he's gonna have to heal build. <laughs> His Mew is, like, super dead, so, like, what? 
It does heal battle right there. Back into trend here, scouting for Toxic. Tosses gets me right there. But I can also pivot between... Like, this doesn't matter. I can pivot between Slowbro and Torn. Like, I don't need health on my Tran. I think my Tran is cool and all that, but I don't need it. <clears throat> Man, I wanted to record another one after this, but my voice is too dead. Hmm, anything else I can talk about? Not really. <laughs> I'm just gonna be pivoting and it's kind of it's gonna be boring I guess they're just toxic which um, yeah Bob back in the trend um, we still don't know if he has off power but at this point ah that beats up the game nice burn I know he has heal ball but chip on low bunny is nice he doesn't have wish path yeah, if you guys really want um, an ulti cycle 3 video, I can do one, but mainly replays because the ending of cycle 3 was boring even though I recorded it. So let me know in the comments. Um, I think I go drill here, breaking the chancy to come out. Why do you say come on? What? Oh, yeah, chancy has no evilite, so Earthquake is gonna send this bot packing. I just wanna. Oh, that lift? Dude, chancy is too thick. But yeah, if he killed me with, um, if he kills me with thing, his chance he would be low, so I just off quick again. Not a big deal. Okay, congratulations, you got me there. <clears throat> yeah, this could have been a scary game if he played it different. And yeah, I mean, I could have saved my Z. I'm gonna hard haul it here if he defogs, because... Combined with Toxic, I think he's gonna die. Yep. I mean, I just I said uh, I thought earlier that he died, and I just said it a few seconds later. Mm. Is this some Sky Strike garbage? I really don't know. Dude, I'm s is he Sky Strike Coco? I'm so scared. I'm gonna scout for Sky Strike Coco. <laughs> I wanna just show that I. S okay, he just Giga Volts. Okay, so he gets a kill there. His play made no sense at all, but whatever. <laughs> Let him have the kill. Um, this can actually get a bit scary now because <laughs> I messed up. I really thought he would have sky strike. Like I'm, I'm not even trolling because I'm not that high on the ladder. This is actually annoying now because I don't have rocks. If I had rocks, this would be over. Um. I think I have to hurricane just because. Can I hit cool? Just because if he stays in, I don't have a good knockoff switch in or Giga Drain switch in. Well, I had a Bulu where I can go to. Oh, my Bulu actually beats the Tangrowth, but the reason why I didn't set up with my Bulu on the Tangrowth is because I don't know yet if it has Sludge Bomb. He might just be hiding that he has Sludge Bomb and not going for it. But yeah, I'm gonna SD because if his Tangrowth has Sludge Bomb, uh, that's what I should have done way, 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 way earlier in the game. He already revealed his entire moveset and he doesn't have it. Okay, so this is only my fault. This Bulu beats the Tangros 1v1. And it's my bad, guys. I thought he had Sludge Bomb. I should have just hovered over it and seen that he already revealed everything. So we have one more turn. So I could have probably... I don't know if I could have ended the game earlier. But yeah, Bulu bops this Tang. My bad. But yeah, like, Bulu actually six out this guy. I misplayed this game. I am... Um, he didn't have Sky Strike. So the only thing I had to fear was Wisp on Mew and everything else was and Skystrike on Coco which he doesn't have. And other than that, well Toxic on Chansey as well. So I couldn't just leave with this in 6-0, but I could have like won with this way earlier. Um, so my bad guys. Thank you for watching. My bad for the long last game. Hope you all enjoyed, smash that like button if you want to see more and I'll let you vote in the comments on the next team that I will use in a live again. Um, link to Twitter is going to be in the comments. And peace out friends, my voice is dead, so I'm not going to record more, even though I kind of wanted to record two lives today. Goodbye, have a fantastic day if I didn't say that yet. I'm like a master of repeating myself and messing up my outro. Goodbye friends.